looks so good. I feel like I want my dining room to look like this all the time. It should. It should. <laughs> Is this your table runner? Yeah, these are new linens that we just did um, with the frayed edges and the napkins to go along with them with the contrast stitching. I need I really that. Love. And wait, so are you not into placemats? I like placemats, but I don't think there's rules for entertaining, so I like to mix it up. Sometimes I like to do a runner, sometimes I do placemats, sometimes we do a tablecloth. So if you do a runner, you don't do placemats? Sometimes I do, but generally I think it can be a little too much. And then if you were having a dinner, would you have food go onto the middle? It or depends no? on what kind of dinner you're having. So I feel like you can do a plated dinner if you want things more formal. You can do family style, which is generally what I like to do. Okay. And with smaller arrangements, it gives you more flexibility to move things around. Or you can use the table back here and mm -hmm. do a whole buffet and then people can get up and serve themselves. And I think being in I California, don't use that table. being more casual is key. I do too. But what I always wonder too, if you're having a dinner mm -hmm. and you have the plates and everything set up, but if you want people to bring you the food with the plates, then what right. do you do? No, you don't. So sometimes I'll set the table because I think it looks prettier when it's set. And then right as people are sitting down, I'll take the plates like with my husband or one friend and stack them up at the buffet. Okay. But if you're going to do a plated dinner, I would set everything except for the plates. Okay. Or you could set the big plate and then use the smaller plate. For the to food. Serve. Yeah. Or like say you have salad first, then okay. they'll bring this with exactly. the salad and then maybe they would take, take your the other whole thing. plate. Yeah. Okay. I generally don't do plated because it's a little bit formal and mm -hmm. stick more with family style or buffet. And then I love all of the small details, so I always like to do like small um, little accents on my napkins or on my plates. We did little Palo Santo bundles, which is really fun, and you can do them with your kids, and it's mm -hmm. kind of meditative putting them together. I would say if you're starting from scratch, you can do your napkins so many different ways, um, but one of my favorite ways to do it is to just fold it like this and put it like this, and it also means it doesn't need to be pressed perfectly because you're mm -hmm. not seeing the entire thing. And you can even put them in between the plates, and then you use this one to kind of hold it in place. You don't have to set both plates, but if we're doing a salad plate, that's nice. And then you always do your salad fork on the right, on the left, and then your large fork, and then knife on the right, and your glass always goes above your knife. And if you have another glass, I would like offset it a little bit. Okay. Do you ever do like when you put the napkin on top of the plate? Yeah, so sometimes I'll put it in the middle, sometimes I'll put it on top, and sometimes like one of my favorite things to do because ironing is not fun and if you're like entertaining on the weekends and you're here alone, then you can just take your napkin and you can tie it in a knot. Oh, I love that. And you can put it like down the middle like this and it looks super chic. I love and it's, that. It's like, easy. And you can also like, you can break the rules and you can do your silverware like that or you know, That's you don't always need yeah, a salad fork. But there's so many different things you and can you do. And you don't put a spoon? Not unless you're serving soup or like need it for your dessert, no. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna make bundles, is that what it's <laughs> called? Yeah, so I love for gift hoppers or for setting tables, kind of taking the foliage that we're using um, and making little um, like bundles with them. So there's really no rule to how you do it. You can kind of choose what size you want them and kind of make everything the same size and then you group it all together like this okay. and then you just tie it. So it's super with the, easy. Oh, with this? With this, yeah. So we should clip this first. Is um, it stretchy or no? No. No, this is just leather twine. Okay. Which in um, my book I have like kind of a list of things that I think you should always have on hand when you're okay. entertaining and like leather twine or jute twine is always one of them. Is it the book you just gave me? Yeah. Okay. It's called I'm Pacific Natural. It. Yes. Um, so you can kind of just choose however much you want and you just put it together. And this like is this. everything you put in the vases on the table. Exactly. And then um, this is Palo Santo which is um, really great for energy and for clearing and all of that and it smells delicious and you can kind this of one? tie it however you want this one. right here oh that and you can burn it so your guests take it home um, oh and it's really nice right where do you get this you can just get it online but there's like so many different ways you can do it you can do this with florals you can put this on top this? of a gift these are dried poppy pods how cute right yeah so like taking flowers and drying them is really nice or you can buy them at the flower mart like that. 
And again, like I'll sit on a weekend and just kind of do this with the kids and it's super fun. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> you can make them thick or thin. <laughs> do you have to cut it? You don't have to cut it. You can make them long, like this one's longer than this one. Yeah, I do. I saw you cut it at a slant. Is that for a reason? Well, when I'm arranging flowers, I always cut everything as a slant because you want as much surface area to soak up the water because then your florals stay longer. So I think okay. I'm just in the habit of doing that. Okay. Cute. Thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you. Of this course. is so exciting.